Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Chip here. Uh, another quick tutorial on 3D Coat. As I'm learning this program, I'm figuring out some stuff. This tutorial is really about this particular artifact that I see right here. This little venting artifact. I'm going to explain how to fix that. Or, or how to not create it. So let's uh, first I'm going to show you how you <laughs> how to create it, and then I'll show you how to, uh, how, to, how, to, how to do it in a better way. So let's take... Let's take a quick look at that. Okay, so I'll go to Mark Fox's company and let's start off with Cube. And let's just make it something like that. Okay. So we've got 108,000 tries, which is not very many, so that'll really exasperate the problem, which is fine. Okay, um, let's go into the uh, symmetry window. Turn on our X and Z, you can see right there, uh, go to my cutoff tool, and I'm going to just do this, oops, I've got my cutoff tool set to a depth limit, and now let's try it again here, okay, good, and now let's turn off the x-axis so we do one okay so first we'll kind of do this uh, we'll show how we do this uh, the bad way so I'll come in here and again I use my cutoff tool and let's this time we're going to set the depth limit to about 32 I think that's percentage I'm not percent sure but and then I'll just draw something like this and so you can see that, you know, that vent goes all the way in there. So maybe what might work better is we go to geometry and uh, use this cast shadows option. And now we can see a little better, you know, where our, uh, what this looks like. Uh, pull the shift key down and move. Uh, and let's pull the shift key down. And rotate, I think it is. Uh, yeah. So, let's see. That's right, yeah, you can't actually change the lighting when the shadows are turned off. Whereas if you uh, turn the shadows off, uh, you can change the lighting. Uh, but the minute you turn them back on, you get a specific shadow. So, anyway, but that's that kind of gives you... The, an idea of what we're looking at here. So, turn it back off, and let's now go to the other side, and let's uh, figure out how to do this in a in a better way. So, what we need to do first is uh, let's convert this to a surface model, uh, and then we'll go into our live clay, and we've got to set the radius to something. That's probably good. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> and uh, let's show our wireframe. And let's just kind of go ahead and punch up our resolution here. So I'm just uh, I'm adding a lot more polys on here. And I'm using a radius of 1.775, which might be a little coarse, but we'll see. So. Once we get to this mode, <coughs> what we want to do is we'll want to pose. So we'll go down to adjust and we'll go to pose and we're going to use the uh, paint select mode here. And we're going to grab this. Uh, we're going to uh, put the depth limit. Again, we're going to ignore back faces because we don't want to select the back part. We just want to select the front part. And we're going to use our our tool here. So I'll go in it like this, this, here, and here. Double click on it and I'm going to align to view. Control shift and let's drag this. Oops. Let's drag this back. Let's see. 
think I accidentally selected something there. There we go. Uh, yeah, so that's a line of view again. And two center mass. There we are. Let's try this. Okay, now I'm going to move this back in here. And we can see that we haven't gone back very far, so let's. out a bit and keep pulling it. There we go. Okay, something like like that's <laughs> hold on. You go back farther. There we go. Let's maybe just keep two two center mass. There we go. Okay, so something like that. And we'll go back into our transform tool. And let's go back into turn off wireframe. Zoom in on here, and you can start to see that if we turn on shadows, you know that particular object is quite a bit nicer. That 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 vent detail is quite a bit nicer than the one over here, right? And I can, uh, you know, that probably that shows that that will render out perfectly. So I hope this helps. It's uh, let's, let's kind of put some. Put a decent shader in here and turn off the wireframe from the shadow. And now uh, you know, it even works a little better. Those, those, those little stretched out polygons, I don't think you're going to see much of those when we render them in Keyshot. They look, they look pretty good. So I uh, hope that helps. Um, and uh, we'll uh, see you next time. Thanks. Bye.